Recently, the Hashemite Court of Jordan announced a joyful piece of news Crown Princes Prince Hussein and Princess Rajwa have become parents for the first time. Five days after the birth, Princess Rajwa, together with her husband and their newborn daughter, Princess Iman, made a public appearance eliciting excitement and applause. These were the first photographs of Rajwa from Jordan after she became a mother. Five days after giving birth, she left the hospital with her husband and their newborn daughter, Princess Aman. Last Saturday, the Hashimet court announced the good news the Crown Princes had become parents for the first time and shared exciting photographs of the family with the baby in their arms. At that time, the new mother, Princess Rajwa, was not seen as she was recovering from childbirth. It was this Wednesday that we saw her for the first time, walking out of the Hussein Medical Center, where she had welcomed her first daughter. This moment brought happiness and applause from the crowd gathered at the building's entrance. Beside her was Prince Hussein, carrying the cradle with the newborn, whom they named Amon, after one of the Hashemite Kingdom's heir sisters. The scene was somewhat unusual, not only because Prince Hussein was the one carrying the little girl in the cradle, but also because he held his wife's hand, a gesture not too common in the Jordanian monarchy. Also beside them was Princess Salma, who we saw last Saturday in those photographs shared by the court when the Hashemite family met little Aman. For her discharge from the hospital and first public appearance after becoming a mother, Rajwa chose a shirt dress with a white and blue print and white sneakers, opting for the comfort required in these first days after childbirth. The couple was very touched by the expressions of love, as many citizens wanted to come to the doors of the Hussein Medical Center to greet the princes after Rajwa's discharge. The images show many people with mobile phones in their hands, eager to capture the special moment as they left the hospital. Both Prince Hussein and Princess Rajwa placed their hands on their hearts and smiled, though it was difficult to reach their car due to the crowd outside. Prince Hussein preferred to drive the car himself rather than hire a chauffeur, placing the cradle with their newborn in the back seat. Thus, Hussein and Rajwa begin a new adventure, now at home and away from the hospital, 14 months after saying I do. In Amman, the capital of Jordan, at a wedding attended by almost all the royal houses of the world. Last April, the Hashimari court announced that the couple was expecting their first child, making Rania and Abdullah grandparents. Since then, not many details of the pregnancy had been disclosed, and Rajwa's appearances were quite rare. As is customary in royal families, the child's gender was also unknown until the moment of birth. Finally, on Saturday, Princess Amman bint Hussein was born. She will not become the heir to the throne, as the Jordanian monarchy still denies women inheritance rights and only a man can wear the crown. These are the first family photographs of the three of them, and they could not be more tender, quickly spreading across the internet. For Al Hussein of Jordan, the crown prince, and his wife Rajwa, Aimean is their first child. They chose the same name as the prince's younger sister, Ayman, which means faith. The little princess of Jordan, Amman, is not in line for the throne, at least not at the moment. Jordan still follows the Salic law, which forbids women from ascending the throne. Who knows if anything will change over time or if tradition will prevail even during Al Hussein's reign. Undoubtedly, the princes, who are in their 30s, have been much talked about in recent days due to the arrival of their baby, just as during Rajwa's pregnancy, with some photographs of anticipation. This is a completely unusual choice for an Eastern court, no matter how enlightened it is. Then came the first photographs from the hospital, where the family gathered around the newborn girl. Who knows, the future may hold surprises and a radical change of pace. The birth of little princess Aman bint Hussein is a significant event for the Hashimite court of Jordan, symbolizing the beginning of a new chapter in the lives of crown princes Hussein and Rajwa. This moment of joy and family unity not only excited the public, but also highlighted changes in the royal family's traditions. Prince Hussein and Princess Rajwa, demonstrating their love and care, appeared in public just five days after the birth, 
reflecting the couple's desire for an open and modern lifestyle. This step, including Rajwa's departure from the hospital in comfortable clothing and Princess Sain's participation in caring for the newborn, indicates a move towards a more democratic and humane image of the royal family. At the same time, the birth of Princess Aman raises questions about the future of the Jordanian monarchy and possible changes in the laws of succession. Despite current traditions that exclude women from the line of succession to the throne, the arrival of the new princess may become a catalyst for discussions and revisions of these rules in the future. Thus, the birth of Princess Iman bint Hussein has not only been a joyful event for the royal family and the entire country, but also emphasized the importance of openness and change in modern society. The future will show how much these events will influence the traditions and rules of the Jordanian monarchy, but it is already clear that the new generation of the royal family is ready for new challenges and changes.